Now, it's time for us to open up the studio floor to our audience as they swamp Derek with the questions. Just before we start, actually, I just want to go back to Josie over here because you were talking to Josie at the top of the programme. Yes. And what she told me afterwards, and you didn't actually hear this bit, I mean, you mentioned Doris Stokes yes. was around, didn't yes, you? Yes, she called. J just, just tell Derek what you told me. When Doris Stokes was in hospital having the little boy that she lost, yes. my mother was in the next bed having me. So there you go. The we never, we were ran out of time actually. Yes. We never got round to that. She would, so, she would know so that's that why she's here. That. That's yes. why she's here. Oh, Bless I've her. got to squeeze out. I really must lose a bit of weight. Right, I'm squeezing back. Who's, who's our first question? It's Gerald, isn't it? Oops, sorry. Gerald on the front row there. Now, what's your question? Derek, my mother passed away when I was eight. Yes. I just wondered if she had now has good health and happiness. Yes, it's lovely to speak to you. Uh, can I, I'm very aware now of memory in thought coming from the back of me here. And, you know, for some reason I go right into a valley and it seems to be, you know, I'm looking up for some reason like that. So someone's making me do that in the world of spirit. I want to say, were horses around you for some reason? No, yes. Yes, yes you've got horses now. She's watching, okay? So she is around. So if those horses were not there, linked around you, when mum was in the physical here, okay? She's trying to let you know she's aware of this. She's pleased over that, okay? She's, yes, I will. Yes, thank you. Can I also say to you, please, that there is a man also comes here. And this gentleman, please, um, would have, uh, how can I put it? Um, his walking at times was not all clear. Would you understand that? Yes. Okay, and that's the way I want to put it. His walking wasn't uh, as best as what could be. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. And he comes here, and they, both of them are now coming either side of you. And you know the love, the love that you've. Oh, has, she, has he? Has he got to do that? You've got to make more money, sir. <laughs> now, why? Are you How's he going that? to do that? Oh, easy. Watch this. They'll show me. Um, yes, I want you to watch within the next five to six weeks because there seems to be monetary flow your mum and the lovely gentleman, okay, are going, getting their heads together and monetary flow will come to you. It's not doing the pools or the lottery or anything like that, fortune telling stuff. What I want to say is money is going to come to you and it's like as if you... Wow, how did this happen? Okay? It must be for a reason. You must have a project. There must be something that you want to do. Yes. Is there? What's yes, that there job? Well, I've just started a new job and uh, oh. I'm looking for... Well, more money without, within, within that job. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, look, I'm telling you, there's going to be monetary flow for you within the next six weeks. So <laughs> it's like your mum's saying, now that's better, isn't it? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> and, um, yes, thank you. Bless you. Yes, where's that? Yeah. You know Banga? I know Banga, yeah. Yes, have you ever been there? Yes. Oh, you're going. <laughs> you're going says, again. Okay, what's for Banga? <laughs> I feel that's in the early summer months, okay? There's a reason for you to go there. Will you watch it? Oh, look what she's showing me now. I can't go away from you. It's like a, a home and it's white. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. And she's just gone in there, so's the gentleman, and shows me, you see. And as they go, oh, they feel ever so good. Does a family member own this home? Yes. It's white? Well, sort of white, yes. Yeah. It's not you, though, is it? No. Yes. It's a family member. Yes. Because your mum's visiting there, okay? Apart from talking about you, okay? All so right. So she doesn't want to miss anyone out. There you go, okay. Gerald. Let, let's move on to Elaine now. What's your question? Uh, is there any, sorry, is there any messages from the other side for me? Ah, that's so easy. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. Now, I've got a man's voice. A man who comes here very, I feel, because they go on feelings, they put feelings on us, um, instruments at times. And I feel he was a man, please, that was a very, very caring man. That we have gentlemen in life that are not caring, and then semi, and what, but this was an over-caring man. And he comes here, please, and says these words. He's noticed just recently that you um, are, um, it's like as if you've been worrying about a younger female. Mm -hmm. And what is happening to this younger female? Mm -hmm. And what direction in life? Would that be correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, they've got that in hand, they know. Uh, this could be a daughter, love, to you, okay? Yes. Because uh, they're talking about a daughter, bless them. Slow down a bit. Yeah, okay. And can I just say this to you, please? In your actual question, is there messages? It could, there's a message also from a lady. That was the man talking to me. I don't know who he is because he's not giving me his name, but he's close. The lady, please, would have been... Um, I'll describe it to you. She was a lady, please, that was quite a slim lady, 
But for some reason, bless her, okay, at one point in time, that's the way she showed herself to me. You know the hip area here? She was full at hip. It's got a bit of weight around this area. It was an aunt of yours. An aunt. Now, see if I can get the name, shall I? Yeah. She's not a mum or a It's an aunt. Right. This aunt, can I use these words for you, please? The way she comes to me is if she was... You know when a person is um, uh, very extrovert and we get introversion? This lady was extrovert. Very extrovert. And she'd say what she wants to say. And if people didn't like it, tough, you know. And she always wanted to be at the centre of her... As she comes to here, she said these words to me for you. There is a situation that that house has got to be sold. Thank you. Do you understand this? Well, oh. Is this your house, yes, Meg? Yeah. Yeah. Got to be sold, she yeah. said. I said, well, is it going to be sold? Of course it is, she said. <laughs> I said, OK, when? And she said, oh, she's been waiting. She's been rather disappointed. And she's been saying to the estate agent, oh, it's, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Is this you, Elaine? That's me. Yes, OK. Yeah. Well, she's been listening in, you see. And she said, oh, but it will be sold. <laughs> yes, who? And the man who purchased your property, the gentleman, oh, listen to this, wow, called Jim, okay? Okay. And Eileen. Jim, what's for those two names? Jim and, and Eileen. Will, yes, and it will go through, and the sum of approval, meaning, I suppose, change of contract, will happen in the month of October, okay? Long to wait. There you go, Elaine. Bless Thank her. you, Derek. Bless and that's all we've got today, but make sure you join us next time for more predictions. We'll have Derek, as always, and if you'd like to take part, all you have to do is get in touch with us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Check out the Mind and Body section of the Breeze website for more astrological information. That's at www.gbreeze.co.uk. As for this Sunday afternoon, it's the best-looking show in town. The Style Guide follows the break.